Yo, what's going on? It's Tony Heat from $20Beats.com. And what we're going to do is we're going to make a vocal hook beat today in Fruity Loops. First thing we're going to do is we're going to pull up Acid. I already have Acid open right here. I'm going to record my vocals right here. What I'm going to say is I'm going to show you how to stunt. I'm going to record that and then I'm going to pull it into FL Studio. And I'm going to make a beat and mix it in with the beat and see what we come up with. Okay, here we go. I'm going to show you how to stunt. I'm going to show you how to stunt. Okay, let's make sure this is lined up together. Notice I did two overlapping each other because a lot of times the voice doesn't sound as full with just one. So you got to make an overdub. Okay, let's play this here, see how it sounds. I'm going to show you how to stunt. That yeah, sounds pretty good to me, so I'm going to go ahead and export this into the FL Studio folder. Okay, next step is to go into Fruity Loops and come up with the beat and see what we come up with. Okay, I'm in here in FL Studio. I'm working with FL Studio 8. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to chop this extra space off of the vocal hook because it is going to delay in the beat and it won't sound on beat at all. So let's go ahead and go to the wave editor and chop this down. Get, get as close as to where it starts as possible. Go ahead and save this as show you how to stunt too. Okay, now we got to go back into the folder and pull out show you how to stunt part two. Where is that? It's right here. I'm going to show you how to stunt. Okay, normalize the track. Get as loud as possible. Okay, I have some preset effects on this track already. I have a track 12 I have a compressor a phaser parametric EQ a flanger and some reverb and I stereo the track that way it sounds more full I'm gonna take off the phaser and the flanger just for a second to see how it sounds I have a beat here that I made and I'm gonna take all of the instruments off of it and bring them in gradually I can leave those on at least Okay, leave those on to start with also. Okay, that one on, that one on. Okay, here we go. Let's see how it sounds. I'ma show you how to stop. I'ma show you how to stop. Okay, that happens a lot when you put the vocal inside of the beat it doesn't sound on beat so what you got to do is you got to find the right note or you may have to mess, mess with the tempo a little bit and see you know make sure it gets on beat Okay, I'm going to start bringing in some of these instruments gradually. That way you can hear the progression of the beat and pretty much give you an idea how it's going to sound in the end when I get done putting the patterns together and everything. Here we go. I'm a show you how to stand. 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 I
Okay, that sounds pretty good, man. I think that was a pretty good project. Um, I mean, that's pretty much it on the process that I use to go through to make a vocal hook beat and right here in Fruity Loops. Uh, like I said, there's a couple of ways you can do it. The first way is in the other video when I just made the beat and brought it into Acid. And I made the vocals right there on top of the beat. But, I mean, a lot of people don't have Acid, so you just use whatever kind of recording software you have. And you can bring, bring it right here in the Fruity Loops. And even if you just record, you know, small chops and ticks or whatever, you can always edit it right here. Because there's a lot of plugins and like you saw the wave editor that I used to chop it down. But I mean, that's pretty much it on how to make a vocal hook beat and Fruity Loops. And I guess I'll see you guys later.